Hello and welcome. My name is Logan aka Coding Doctor 101. In this video I will be giving you a short tutorial over Flogarhythm. Flogarhythm is a free to use and free to download flowcharting application meant to help get you into the basics of programming. Let's dive in. So when you first load up Flogarhythm you'll get, you'll get this page right here with main, end, and all these buttons. So on this black line right here you will click on it, so a single click will work. You'll get this pop up, and I'll, and we'll start off with a declare. Now, a declare is how you make a variable. This is declaring that a variable will exist in your program, and that you can use using this variable. So first, we're gonna start off with naming this variable, and we will name it sentence. And here under type. You have integer, real, string, and boolean. Integer is just a basic integer, where so any negative or positive number, as long as it's not a decimal. You can't have fractions or decimals. Well, so it has to be a, just a plain integer. And then you have reals, which can have decimal places in them. A string is something that you would use for sentences and letters, mainly. And then you have boolean. Boolean is based off of true or false. So we're going to click string because I want to name my sentence a string. So with that, we will come here and click the assign button. Now what assign does, assign will take a value and make the variable equal to that value. So in this instance, we will use sentence and it will equal, well, open quotes, hello world then close quotes. Now the reason we have quotations right here and here is because we're dealing with a string. A string has to have quotes to make it a string. So we'll hit OK and then we're going to get an output. An output is something that will display whatever we want to the user. So if we type in sentence right here, which is our variable name, it will output the variable that is stored within sentence. So when we run this program by hitting the play button right here, also called run, we see hello world. And that's the computer telling us hello world from the program right here. All right, next we go change this just a little bit. So instead of having us, the computer, assigning something, we're going to make the user assign it via input, via the input right here. So first we'll go do another output and we'll do open close because we just want to output a sentence. Please enter a sentence. So what this, so all this is showing is that this output that the user will see will say this right here. So once we do that we will do an input value to get in the input we'll get the variable information from the user so we will put in the sentence right here so now we hit run it says please enter sentence which which shows us it right here so now we are on input the sentence so if we open this up all right now we will input the sentence so we will say hello world exclamation point and then we'll hit enter and the computer will respond back hello world so it's a pretty simple program let's change it up enough change it up somewhat so we're going to delete this we're just going to start from scratch and we'll do a declare and we'll call this number one and then we'll copy this and we're going to paste it right here and then we're going to double click on it to open and we'll, if you go back and you can hit 2 we'll, we can change the variable name we want to keep this an enter and we'll hit OK and we'll go to this one more time and we're going to call it number 3 so we'll do an output to the user and this will say you want to open quotes Please enter a integer. Oops, misspelled it. 
and we'll hit OK. And then we'll do an input and we'll get number one. Alright, and we'll go copy this again and we'll paste it right here. We'll copy this and we'll paste it here. But instead of number one this time, it will be number two. And then we want to add, then we'll go add the two numbers, so we'll use a sign. So right here, we want number three to go right here because we are adding number one and number two to equal number three. So how we will show that is type in number one and then you're going to do plus number two. We'll do an OK. And on this output right here, we're going to use a string, a, give a sentence back, which is a string, and but we'll also include the variable in there. So how we'll do that, we'll open it. So we'll say, in, da, 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 number one, so that shows this number that the user entered. And Flickerism uses the and sign. We'll do that, plus, and we're going to do and number two and open equals and number three and if everything works right there we go and we'll go hit run so it says please enter an integer and we'll do four and then we'll do five and we said and it says four plus five equals nine so pretty cool next so instead of plusing, we're going to come in here, but we will change this. So plus, we will do, let's do multiplication. So which is just a little star. We'll hit OK. And we'll hit run. And we'll do 8 and 9 this time, which is 72. So not bad. Um, this is just the basics of a program. Most programs you build in Flavorism will involve around these three right here, my bad, these four, with the declares, the output, the input, and the assign. And I hope this helps y'all, and I will see y'all next time.